Buildings in ancient China were made of earth and wood. The foundation was rammed earth, and the building itself was made of wooden beams and pillars. Yet the earth may also become glazed tiles. Glazed roof tiles were made for the royal family. Glazed tiles for the Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties were produced here in Liao Lichang. Qing Emperor Qianlong did not like having a kiln so close to the imperial palace because of the odor and pollution. He ordered it moved to Mentougou on the west side of Beijing. The site is still called Glazed Tile Ditch, and it still produces tiles. The semi-finished tiles are coated with glaze and returned to the kiln for baking. Different metal oxides in the glaze produce different colors. Red ferric oxide produces yellow, copper oxide produces an emerald green color, and cobalt oxide produces blue. Like everything else in the Forbidden City, the use of colors followed strict rules. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth each represents a direction and a color. Yellow represents earth, the central element, and the emperor was the center of the country. Thus, nearly all the roofs in the Forbidden City are yellow. Offspring of the emperor studied and lived in these three buildings on the east side of the Forbidden City. Green represents growth, so all the roofs in this area are green. North is associated with water, which is represented by black. All the roofs inside the Gate of Divine Prowess have black tiles. Different sized tiles overlap in rows from the ridge to the tile ends. Each tile has a nail hole for securing it. The glazed tiles form a watertight roof. The glazed tiles, made of baked clay cooled with water, turn the roofs of the Forbidden City into a brilliant spectacle. Rain slides over them, returning the moisture back to the earth. 